Good morning and welcome to Vicky3 Academy. I'm Walker and let's discuss Belgium in our, our basic country guide series today. So Belgium, um, for those of you who have played through a little bit of the Dutch uh, or the Netherlands playthrough, you'll know that your country has very recently won its independence from the, ne from the Netherlands uh, in the immediate aftermath of the Napoleonic War. There was a, like a super state set up here in the Netherlands um, that had control over it the entirety of the Benelux nations because they wanted a strong buffer state to help out against uh, France. But um, due to some some pretty serious mismanagement, um, the, the Belgians who ended up getting the majority of the capital investment and industrialization um, also were not being treated particularly well and rose up in rebellion against the Netherlands and won their independence very recently and have installed uh, King Leopold I of Saxe-Coburg-Gotha. You are an absolute banger. Um, it, like an incredibly 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 capable ruler because you're a, an intelligentsia character you're usually i think you're set to come in with tactful which is very nice minus 20 percent political movement radicalism means that you can get away with doing an awful lot of things that are going to make your interest groups furious with you uh, without starting civil wars um which is if you can do that then you can kind of make whatever changes you need to um and you have great laws you're very well industrialized but uh oh, you're tiny. You're itty bitty. You're just an itty bitty little country. Um, so my recommendation is if you want to play Belgium, be be okay joining somebody else's custom union. My recommendation is to join the British custom union because they have access to lots of good resources inside of it, um, not to mention lots of good pops. But if you wanted to join the French custom union, you could try to do that, become like a protectorate or something like that. It just depends on what their attitude is towards you. Cooperative is not going to accept you whereas protective is. And so if you want to join with France instead of Great Britain, just re-roll until you have a different starting attitude. But I, I really do think that joining the customs union for, for the, the British customs union is generally speaking going to be stronger because it's going to offer you access to the British goods, which is like the most important thing in the game, I think, for you, at, at least as, as Belgium. Um, but it is also going to get you access to, to British pops. So if you can build your standard of living up to a really high level, be prepared to start absorbing um, pops from the rest of the British Empire if you're in the customs union. But more, most importantly, what this does is it gives you access to British guns. Because um, if if you thought that your war with the Dutch was over, boy howdy, um, nah, not even close. Because look at all this extra, look at all this extra potential um, Flemish territory that's out here, right? These are all low countries heritage uh, and low countries European heritage. So like you gotta, you gotta bring all this back together, right? You can't, you can't leave it all out there. And fortunately for you, um, the, the Dutch with their 20 professional plus eight uh, regular, they're, they're not gonna be able to beat you with your 10 professional 70 that you can conscript with your national militia. Um, so unless the, the Dutch who you start with a truce against um, until August, unless the Dutch manage to find themselves a strong ally in the form of like Prussia or somebody like that, you should very easily be able to clean up against the, the Dutch. I'm not gonna do any sort of Oh, look at that. The French declared a, a, a rivalry towards the Netherlands. Oh, boy. Yep. Um, so as as Belgium, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the rest of what we're doing is what we're waiting for this to tick down. As Belgium, you do have a, a very good uh, intelligentsia leader. Um, the nature of your parties can be very different depending on the personal ideologies of the rulers and of the, the people in question. Um, in this case, yeah, people are leaving different parties so we could we could reform it and bring these guys and bring the uh the industrialists in um but your your laws are actually very good like a lot of a lot of the things that make belgium strong are your your starting position uh because you don't have nearly as much stuff that you need to change as some of the other countries right like you start with serfdom gone slavery gone you start in per capita instead of in land you start in interventionism instead of traditionalism um you have a school already set up you have elected bureaucrats instead of hereditary bureaucrats you're even in racial segregation and wealth voting and those are really solid in terms of like open authority um same with freedom of conscience like you have basically i i personally think 
one of the the best uh, assortment of laws out here at Game Start. It's it's hard for me to find anything to criticize except that potentially you might want to go into mercant uh, from mercantilism to free trade and from interventionism to laissez-faire and if you want to do that you can but it is going to require that you get a powerful landowner um which is at least in game start uh right now it's a little tricky um because you aren't you, you don't have a you don't have a particularly powerful landowner at the beginning of the game um and so you you're gonna you're gonna struggle uh getting them up there unless you bolster them if that's if you really want to to use corn laws, then you have to bolster your landowner. I don't I don't know if you really need to is the the thing because you you really you start with great laws. You really do start with great laws. Like the first thing that you might want to change would be going for property women, but I I mean that that's that kind of depends on on what your goal is in regards to the, the British market. Oh, but we know what our goal is in regards to the Dutch. So let's let's go ahead and and fix that let's do a diplo play i think we'll do this we'll take friesland and galra and by taking those two um we're not gonna spike our infamy too high hopefully oh we could even take luxembourg yeah we could take luxembourg i normally advocate for puppeting um but i think that generally speaking in this in this particular setup i'm very happy doing this oh and of course mobilizing all generals and activating our conscripts so by doing this, we are going to like dramatically spike the demand for guns and stuff down here, but that's okay. Yeah, like whatever guns and stuff that we can handle this. So here we are potentially fighting a war against, um, Austria. We'll see if they matter. Oh, sway. We could, we could bring, we could bring, um, France in, humiliate Netherlands. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Are the the uh, Austrians going to show up? Because that's the this is this is what I this is why I think that this uh, this start is a little easier than it looks. Just simply because like you're gonna you're gonna be able to find um, you're gonna be able to find friends, and with friends these wars kind of fight themselves. You don't even need necessarily to have um, all your conscripts running, but I, I just I like to do it to to show everybody else at the table that I'm serious. Whoa, we could. We could offer Puppeter Dominion to sway Austria in the other direction, but I I, I can't be bothered. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa, oh. Are our, are our uh, Belgians going to just, like, watch the entire time? I think that's going to be their goal. I think they're just going to watch the entire time. Because if I send them into battle, then they'll start suffering attrition and they'll die. But, y y you see, this is... um. This is going to be a pretty easy win for us because they we they, they can't even disrupt the supply. If you can get either um, UK or France to join you against the the Dutch, you can get this war to fire pretty easily and pick whatever sort of peace peace deal you want. I I personally recommend taking these pieces and that that way um, Holland is isolated, so you can come back and you can puppet the entirety of the Netherlands in one war um, by just occupying their capital. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, I think the basic setup here for, for Belgium. Um, we can, let's pop back to what sort of development you want to do, but that, that is, that is kind of what I recommend doing is just use the fact that it's going to be pretty easy for you to join one of these markets, um, hopefully as a custom union rather than as a protectorate. So that way you can leave whenever you feel like you, you really need to, um, but just, just invade the Netherlands and take I would I would actually genuinely leave them with uh, with Holland so that way if you need to come back um, and puppet them you can do it very easily without having to build a navy you're gonna want to build a navy that's that's sort of like the the X factor that I haven't yet told you um, you as Belgium are gonna desperately need to pick up uh, an empire even if you're under somebody else's or perhaps especially if you're under somebody else's umbrella um simply because you just don't have a lot of pops right we are going to be gaining we're going to be gaining a lot here um and that's going to be very helpful for us but don't fool yourself that is this conquest is not the end of of your imperial journey as belgium it is the beginning of your imperial journey as belgium and the more that you can build up a good navy and a good economy to support that navy the more you can expand around the world um you can go into your uh, colonization spree out here but be aware of the way colonization works colonization uses your incorporated population 
to determine the speed in which you colonize. So if you're trying to colonize Central Africa as Belgium, you are going to have to prioritize picking up quinine um, a lot more than some other people, at which point, you know, go with, with pharmaceuticals down to quinine. You can get you can get quinine on, online pretty early as, as uh, Belgium, because you just don't have any other things that are important. Um, oh, hey, look at this. Lippe, where... Where are you? Oh, you're out there, and you have no war holds against us? Capitulate. Cool. So now Belgium has control over the overwhelming majority of uh, the Netherlands, and we can incorporate it all for like 100 uh, bureaucracy, and then we can have 1.5 million more pops that we just, just picked up, and hopefully this is going to do enough damage um, to the Netherlands that we will be able to reduce their prestige. Yeah, it's going to decrease to a minor power because it's... Um, its prestige is going, to, is going to be below 113, and our prestige, hopefully, is going to pick up to over 125 by just annexing these territories and then building stuff. That's the, the thing that we haven't really been doing that's going to help you really spike your prestige over, over the Netherlands. And the reason, of course, that's important is that by having a higher uh, prestige level, you can puppet them, which is kind of like the goal, I, I think, generally speaking. It, that, that is the thing that is going to make you strong, is, is puppeting people. But yeah, you, you just start in such a great position um, in terms of your current industrialization and the nature of your economy that it, it feels like a shame to not just use, use the strength that is available to you. Yeah, so you can you can puppet things. Um, I would not recommend puppeting things where where you're going to be fighting a, a great power. But it is it is not hard to find a diplomatic situation where you can join somebody else's market, beat up uh, the Netherlands with the help of someone, and annex most of it, and have them still have no friends. So that way you can come back and puppet them and gain the Dutch East Indies. And that that is sort of like the the way that the that Belgium can kind of declare its its victory in its entrance into the world is by by doing this yeah all right that's i think that's it like the majority of this was the that gameplay here but it's because like i don't really have a whole lot to talk to you about in terms of technology other than if you're going to do colonization pick up quinine you don't have a way to use nationalism for uh, formation of nations right now so you don't need to worry about that your military is extremely up to date like the only thing that you're missing right now would be maybe going down to breach loading artillery but like that's not even that important right now and you even your 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 industrialization is so advanced that you have intensive agriculture um and so don't don't be don't be don't feel pinched in terms of your technology or what you should be doing here because you you are uh like on the leading edge you you might be on the bleeding edge of technology as belgium um, and just as similarly, if you can if you can find yourself into a good diplomatic position, your economy is going to be enormous. All right, uh, that is that's Walker, and that is uh, Belgium. Bye.